In this lecture, we are going to continue our discussion on software engineering. We will be on packaging and deployment of project. In the software development floor, we have several stages for testing. We have unit test, module test, subsystem test, system test, and acceptance test for alpha test and beta test. And along the way, we actually executed the integration floor, combining the design for integration and testing. And once we finish certain version, we need to build the design on a certain server. And then we execute the unit test, module test, or some subsystem test under the developer's test environment. Once we pass that stage, we may move on to the staging environment, usually not already at the system level, and that is preparing for production. And once that passed, we will put into the production environment for alpha test and beta test. And right here, we will be discussing the simplest version of packaging and deployment for Java projects. First, we are going to review the jar file. Jar file is Java archive file, can be used to group all the project files in a complex file for deployment. The Java archive file format, JAR, is based on the popular zip file format. This single file can be deployed on an end user machine as an application. It also can be downloaded to a browser in a single HTTP transaction rather than opening a new connection for each piece. This greatly simplifies application deployment and improves the speed with which an applet can be loaded onto a web page and begin functioning. Now let's look at how to create a jar file. We have two ways to create a jar file. One is using the command line. We can use jar-cf and some file name. But right here, we will be focused on packaging the jar file by IDE. We will use the bootj as an example. Let's go to the bootj. Right here in the bootj environment, we have one program, tic-tac-toe, apply file. Let's run it. And we can play on it. Now, if we want to create a jar file, we need to click project and create jar file. And then you need to pick the top level program you want to run. Let's pick this tic-tac-toe. And then include source and include bootj project files. And then click continue. And let's put here. And because we have the Java runtime environment, so we can click it and run it. Same, you can play on it. And for deployment, you just need to make this file downloadable. So we can do this. We just copy this and then paste it on the desktop. And you can run it again. Same thing, it come out. But this way, you need the Java runtime environment being installed on your machine. If we want to do without it, we need to wrap it into a certain executable file. Let's go back to the slides. When we use the pzip program to open the tic-tac-toe.jar as an archive file, you should be able to see all the content in this jar file. As you can see, the tic-tac-toe.jar behaves just like a zip file. And if we want to wrap it into a executable format, we need to wrap in the embedded Java runtime environment and also the library file and DLL libraries. So make it the whole setup executable program, then you can run it and install it. And this launch 4J program can help you to do that. Just download it. And because this program is a little bit complicated, 
So you need to find this website and download it and play it by yourself. It takes some time to learn, but it is fun. Thank you. Bye.